what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is tolani and i am diary of a kitchen lover in this video we're going to be making banana pancakes i love pancakes a lot because it is so flavorful and super filling it is perfect for breakfast for lunch and for dinner if i do say so myself but this time around i'm going to be making a flavorful pancake you don't need a hand mixer for this one and it's going to be super fluffy and super flavorful so i'm going to run you through all of the ingredients i'm going to be using for these banana pancakes now <laughs> Myself. These are all the ingredients you'll be needing for your banana pancakes. I have all purpose flour and this is two and a half cups. So I'm going to be replacing milk with my whipping cream and I have sugar here. I also have baking powder here. I have two eggs. I have salted butter and I have raw banana. If you also have banana flavor, you can also add it to it. So let's get started right now. To get started, we're going to be mixing all the dry ingredients in a separate bowl and mixing the wet ingredients in another bowl. So I just poured in the flour and this is the sugar. I'm going to put all the measurements in the description box and this is the baking powder. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt but adding salt to your pancake is highly optional. That is why I didn't list it when I was introducing the ingredients. So you're just going to use a whisk or whatever you have to mix this together and just make sure that all the ingredients are properly combined and once you're done with this just set it aside and allow us to mix the wet ingredients so for your wet ingredients you're going to start by cutting your bananas you're going to mash your bananas with a fork if you also have a mash a proper masher at home you can use your own masher but i'm going to be using a fork for the sake of many of us who don't have mashers in the house so this is an almost ripe almost overripe banana and it's always good for things like this because you get the maximum flavor from your banana so you're just going to use your fork to mash the banana until you get it very runny So the mashed bananas are ready the next thing you'll be adding are your eggs please don't try this at home make sure you break your eggs in a separate bowl before you pour it into your mixture some eggs go really bad and it can just destroy your entire mixture so i have two eggs here i was just in trial and error because <laughs> i was filming so the next thing you're gonna add now is just mix it together and make sure that it is properly combined so like i said i'm using whipping cream in place of milk but if you don't have whipping cream just use evaporated milk which is totally fine this whipping cream will just make it extra fluffy and extra flavorful i love the word flavorful because all my meals are usually really flavorful so you're just going to get the whisk now and mix it together so this is your melted butter i just added the melted butter now so now you're going to add your dry ingredient into your wet ingredient it is never the way other way around it should be your dry into the wet not the wet into the dry because sometimes your dry ingredients are usually more than your wet ingredients and what will happen if you pour in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and you don't have um, the consistency that you want so you are able to control your consistency when you add your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients so that was what I did so if you notice that your butter is too thick good thing is that you can always add your water to your pancakes so just add a little water but one of the secrets to getting a really fluffy pancake also is to make sure that your butter is not too watery make sure that it is too thick so at this point i discovered that my butter was too watery i decided to add some more flour so you see the essence of adding your dry ingredient into your wet ingredient because it gets it gets in total control you're in total control of the consistency of your butter so this is what your batter should look like it should have a fine consistency but please don't mix it too much because we want to retain that fluffiness if you mix it too much it can thaw and just you know destroy the ability to get it fluffy so i have one tip for you guys let me share with you so now guys there's one mistake a lot of us make when we are preparing pancakes and you wonder why your pancake is not fluffy doesn't look good and it's just looking flat and flabby 
you cook your pancake with too much oil some people even fry literally fry their pancake i don't preach this at all i am all for making your pancakes as fluffy as possible so one of the tips to get your pancakes really fluffy is to make sure that you don't use too much oil you're going to use a non-stick pan and you're just going to brush the pan with a little butter or oil before you now place your pancake on it then you cover the pot and allow the pancake to cook once you start to see bubble on top of the pancake then you know that your pancake is ready to flip so i hope after watching this video you're going to make a very perfect pancake so let's fry our pancakes now like i mentioned earlier you're just going to brush some butter over the surface of your pan not literally pouring oil into your pan and frying your pancakes <laughs> So you're just going to allow this to heat up halfway and another tip to getting a perfect shaped and uniformed shaped pancake is to use a uniformed measuring cup for every of the batter. So you're going to use the same measuring cup. So the measuring cup you use to pour your first batter should be the measuring cup you use to pour the last batter. With this you get a uniformed looking pancake. So you're just going to pour this into your pan and cover it up on extremely low heat until you start to see bubble on top of your pancake so this is what i have now and i know that it is time for me to flip over so with this you don't have to start um looking for ways to get runny pancakes and all of that and you get a really perfect pancake and fluffy pancake also So you can see how really fluffy this pancake is and you don't need too much oil or anything you don't need to add any extra calories to your pancakes and this is what it looks like super fluffy and trust me when i say it is fluffy it is fluffy my pancakes are really always fluffy and i want you guys to also get a perfect pancake so this is what everything looks like and i'm just gonna do the same thing for all of the pancakes and if you want to get like a lighter color like this don't leave it on the hot surface for too long and this is what you get you get a really nice pancakes and your family your friends your loved ones your lovers would totally love this and will ask you for more so you can see me cutting it into two and you can see how fluffy this looks this looks like an actual cake but it's actually a pancake so i hope you guys are going to try this i hope you guys are trying every recipes that i'm posting on my youtube channel and if you like the fact that i'm now showing my face on my youtube channel please let me know in the comments section so i can continue with this but if you don't like it let me know also so i can just stick to just voiceovers thank, thank you for watching always if you haven't already subscribed this is a more reason why you should subscribe to my youtube channel i make your recipes your regular recipes really yummy really easy to prepare and straightforward and like i said earlier please don't hesitate to share this with your family your loved ones and your friends and you know spread the word of diary of a kitchen lover on youtube thank you bye